Hi guys, you're welcome back to Web Technologies. We're still on Laravel for beginners. We'll be looking at how to associate blog posts and comments with the users right in Laravel 5.4. We have a blog post and uh, we have the details uh, page for this particular post, but we actually need to associate this post and comments to a user, you know. Uh, actually, this should have been done earlier. This should be the first aspect to handle right before the start of uh, your coding, but we can still actually achieve this right now. So I'm actually going to take you on how to uh, get set of a user you know, and attach them to a particular blog post or comment. So we're actually going to look at the text editor, which is bracket IO. Uh, right here in the database, we have the migration called users you know uh this is actually created out of the box you know uh from laravel so this is the users table which we're actually going to be using as our migration and uh we're actually going to also create probably uh a user you know right there in this particular table so i'll be going to the terminals uh, whereby i have my uh vagrant box set up and I'll be issuing out this command right inside the new project. I'm going to create a new user. So I'm actually going to, first of all, I have to uh, do that right there in PHP Artisan Tinker. Uh, this is a shell script of uh, Vagrant. And now I'm actually going to create a user which will instantiating with the new app user that's fine so create a user for the name because we have the name feed if you should look at the fields that we have we have name email password and ID ID is auto increment so we don't need to pass in an ID so we have to pass in the name, the email, and password. So let's quickly do that. So now we cross. Let me give a space for the cross too. So I'm going to pass a name. I'm Dele Peters. That's it. I'm going to pass in the user email let's go to uh, that example let's come now the password we need to encrypt the password you, you know you just don't populate the da database with a text uh, like password you know uh, on the worst case if your database is eventually hacked uh, you know that will be so bad you know the password will be gotten and it should be used in the website so it's uh, recommended you know to actually encrypt your password so we're actually going to do that as well give the user password Will be equals to that is a function called decrypt that actually encrypts the password. So we'll give the name user password. That's fine. And you see that? So it should be actually hard for any hacker to uh, decrypt this easily. So this is actually recommended. Make sure you use the decrypt function, right? Uh, probably in the form and somewhere else they are trying to uh, take in the password input. You know? So we need to save the, uh, the data. So we'll call the user save right here. So that's fine. So we actually need to attach you know, this particular user, Bamadili, you know, as the one that writes 
uh, different posts. So let's just actually look at the post that we have. So we can actually get this using the post and to show us all posts. And you see all these posts, it will be very good to assign a user that this is actually the user that wrote them. So we need to actually uh, make a connection with this particular user to the post and also to the comments. So I'm actually going to be moving to the posts table migration, you know, right there. And I will include a particular field after the ID, which is actually going to be table. Integer data type. And I'll pass in the field called user ID. We need that. Close that right there. Save it. Uh, the same thing applicable to the create comments table. So let me just copy this because we're actually going to do that as well. So let's go to the, the create comments table. If you're following along with uh, the this tutorial, you should have all these sets, all this migration set. We've talked about that when we are creating a post, creating a comment, you know, creating the the, the post uh, input form, you know. So we are actually going to paste that right there as well. So we add the user ID into the create comment. We save that. So we need to uh, migrate this, and we are actually going to do that using the PHP artisan migrate refresh. So let me move right up here. So let's let's try to migrate the tables. Artisan migrate. You have to use a refresh. So that's fine. It's actually rolled back and the migration actually uh, was successful. So you're going to lose all your data, but we are going to use the database seeding you know, to get them back. You know, that's fine. So right there, we're going to move to the comments model. Well, we're going to uh, actually create the communication, the connection between the comment and the user and also we create the connection between the post and the user so back to the comment model the php so we actually need to pass in a function or a method if you like it let's call it public function user Right there, we need to return this particular class, which calls that belongs to method, belongs to the user class. This serves as the relationship that ties them together. Over this way, you save that. Get this copied because we're still going to make reference to that. I'll write there in the post model. You no, know, back to the post model. We need to include that. Paste that. You know, the user belongs to the user class. So if you want to access all posts, you no, know, we got to do that in the user model. You know, so that we have the ability to access all posts right beneath we need to pass a method called public function posts now return these as many posts as a post class that's fine got it saved so let's try to uh, create a post but that's something that will happen which I will figure it out later probably in the second part post create so let's get to passing 
a dummy tied to just enable the body we'll notice that we're going to run into an error so let's get to look at the error SQL state integrity constraint violation not null it now needs the user ID you know because we actually need to pass in the user ID right with uh, the post so definitely we need to do something probably we use the middleware authentication uh, to actually uh, create a sort of login you know before a user can post or we attach uh, the user column or the user ID inclusively with the post or with the create uh, form but the best way to handle this is actually uh, get a login you know at login you know the user ID is being uh, gotten so with that it attached to the creator post and that's uh, is going to actually get that corrected we'll be doing that right in the second part of this particular tutorial so don't go anywhere stay by